boy, it sure can be hard getting rusty nuts and bolts loose on older vehicles and stuff, right? Well, here's a solution that's coming right up. Well, we're at the 2017 Auto Mechanica, and I'm in the Induction Innovations booth, and with me is Norb, and he is a, the sales manager, national sales manager. Exactly, yep. And my question, Norb, is why Induction Innovation? Well, Induction Innovation has been around for 17 years. We have solutions for the body shop, collision industry, and also for the technician who's doing, uh, you know, exhaust, mat exhaust, the brakes, things of that sort. So we have our mini ductor series, which is our, called our 1K, and then we have our larger series, which is our 2K for the collision industry. And you know, I think we've seen some of the uh, the smaller handheld stuff for you know nuts and bolts exhaust, like Norb, Norb just said. Right. And we'll take a closer look at that in just a few minutes. But you know, this heavy duty stuff, that's new, that's exciting. And show right. us show us what that's all about. Okay, induction innovation started out 17 years ago, actually in the collision industry. Uh, Thomas Goff is the president of our company. He started as a, out as a body man 28 years ago and was actually a body man for almost 30 years. He started using these tools on the job. So what happened was it just a natural progress into making the tools that you see here now at the Auto Mechanica. So, so for example, he was using the tools to do like to take out glass out of automobiles with our glass blaster attachment. Now this unit here is our 2000 watt unit that comes with three standard attachments for the glass. This one is actually for doing body side molding. You can actually see over here in this corner, he's taking off some decals off of a, a vehicle, okay? Uh, over here to taking out some glass with the glass blaster attachment. So any glass that is bonded, the urethane, to, to the metal. Now the metal has to be a ferrous type metal, so that means it has to have magnetic properties to it. So, so if you're trying to do things on aluminum like that, it's, it's, it's more difficult, so it has to be ferrous. And then we have our concentrator attachment here, which is for nuts and bolts. This kind of started out as our first uh, mini ductor to do fasteners, uh, rusted uh, products and things like that, nuts, bolts, hardware, things like that. So the natural progression was to go to our, now our mini ductor, which is geared more towards the, uh, the technician that's doing uh, fasteners on vehicles, underneath the cars, anywhere where to replace a torch. It's a much safer, it's an invisible heat, it's a centralized heat, so you're not burning things that are around it. Okay, Jim. And what happens is, uh, and so instead of having a lot of collateral damage, you have a centralized heat that can heat up fasteners without the danger of starting things on fire. So, so we have. And, and I see you've got a, a different kits here, like long coil kits and essential coil kits and, this, and this, different things. This is our standard kit here. Okay, this standard kit here has coils from three quarters of an inch up to one and three quarters of an inch. And this has uh, eight different sizes in it. Then we have our essential coil kit. This one has much smaller coils in it, but it seems to be the popular ones that the guys are reordering. So what we did is we went into our database and we found out what the guys were ordering. We made it into a kit, so now they're just able to order it as one. Well, here's a quick question for you. Now, why, why would they be reordering it? Do they wear out or anything? These, the, the coils will last a couple hundred uses if they're used properly, but what happens eventually, if the, thing, if the fastener gets overheated too much all the time, the, uh, the insulation around it starts to wear away. And once it's been compromised, you really should go ahead and change it because if you put it onto something, you get a spark. You could have a problem with cause a problem with the unit. Right. But but then again, they're available. Right. And then the longer one here is basically just a repeat of this one, but it but it just has longer uh, coils. So if you're trying to get up to do like a, a gas tank strap or something where you need to get around a frame rail, you can actually bend it so you can get to the location where you're going without worrying about anything else being in your way. So that's the coil kits that you can get. We also have a pad here for doing small body side molding and decals. As you can see here, he's taken off of some pinstriping. So this would go ahead onto the uh, mini ductor, uh, either the Venom, the Venom or the mini ductor too also. And so the basic idea then, of course, is to uh, connect up the coil to the mini inductor, put it around the thing you're trying to exactly. heat up. Right. And then about how long does it take to heat up? It depends on it's, if it's steel, it has a good uh, magnetic properties. You can do a three quarter inch uh, nut in like 15 seconds, heats it up. So it's pretty quick and it's, uh, it's a good replacement for a torch, especially nowadays when everybody's talking about safety. You know, so we need to have the, uh, something like the mini ductor to, uh, to, to make that happen, so. 
Okay, now the next big question is, how do folks find out more about this product and induction innovation? Well, that's pretty easy. We have an awesome new website. It's called uh, www.theinductor.com. We have videos on there. We have images on there. We have all sorts of things on there. And uh, even if you call us, uh, we can even give you more information or you can go onto the site and look at our uh, YouTube videos and we have other videos on there. And, you, and we pretty much c cover all our products on that. Too. Oh, that, that's really awesome. We'll put that uh, information in the metadata down below. So if you've got uh, rusty nuts and bolts and things that you need to get off, you need to check this out.